Oh, I'm feeling a bit peckish. Let's see if there's any potatoes here. Let's eat. Well, oh, nope. That's nasty. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Survival Roleplay. And uh, yes, there's a few things that's been going on here, so let's get, get cracking on here, shall we? So, alright then, welcome back folks, and yes, it's been a while since we've seen each other, I think it was about Christmas time since we've seen each other. I was meant to see you lot back in July now, but due to some technical issues, um, unfortunately, yeah, I wasn't able to show you folks, but yeah, we've been very busy, and we've earned a lot of money. Oh, there's a deer. Come here, dear. come here. Ah, they're scaring me away. But yeah, so anyways, um, we've been very busy, we've been logging away, we've been doing the carpentry as well. well actually, to be honest, with the carpentry that has stopped. And it's because Derek actually had to go away, so to take some time off for the rest of the year, and I said, yeah, that's fair enough. But yeah, back in June and July, we saw a bunch of planks and that to the shop. And got a lot of money from that. Uh, we've been buying some stuff. Haven't looked at today's huge dealership mar market prices. We look at that at the shop. But yeah, so we earned a lot of money. Also, there is an extra 10 grand because I did convince the bank to give us that 10 grand that we sent them. So yeah, we're on 56 grand at the moment with 100 grand loan to pay. I did promise the bank we'll pay them 25 grand by the end of the year. And hopefully with the aim of doing the rest by the end of next year. So yeah, we've been buying a lot of things and a lot of them have, actually all of them have been used. So none of the equipment that we've got is new. They're second hand. Some of them are badly worn. But I think whether or not it's used or not, we absolutely need it. We need to progress a bit. Especially get some farming done. Like we're in September now and... What crops can we do at this time of the year now? Well, we can do wheat, wheat and barley if we want to grow stuff. That's if a cedar or plant comes up in the used year because even though we've been buying a lot of stuff, we haven't bought a tractor, we haven't bought a cedar or a planter. Uh, what else? What have we bought? Um, bought a tree, that was our first one. Yeah, our first one. Um, there's a ballpoint hitch, which did not work out well with the pickup. So I thought, yeah, oh, a big trailer that's got a... Like a ball bar hitch kind of thing at the back of this, but nope. That didn't go well, so yeah. But any further ado, we'll go to the shop. We'll get these logs sold at the shop, because they're setting us up nicely, so... we have to do is just dump these off, and then some people come in some holders and they'll take these dogs and they'll get processed elsewhere. Some of them will be used for planks, some of them will be used for other bits and bobs, some like firewood and that, so who knows? So yeah. That is the sawmill there, it is closed, Derek is away. Yeah, so after the whole big sale in July, he decides to take some time away to spend it with his family. Oh very precarious driving there. <laughs> yes, yeah, so some size Spend the rest of the year with his family, he set us up with the shop and that, so we're all good. And yes, even though Derek doesn't really talk much, he is a really helpful bloke. So, yeah, what we'll do is simply turn around here, can you get this wood sold. Oops, breaky, very tippy toppy. And we'll get this wood sold. That is all the and that is five grand. So that is very nice. Let's undo that. So now, what have we actually spent our money on? Um, I'll show you folks. So going from left to right, we got a stone picker. We're going to need this at some point. This came up used. It is 21% worn. So. See, yeah, a lot of paintwork is gone, it's like very flaky in places, so perhaps a touch up of lacquer and that, or actually, you know what? I think I'll leave it that because I like it. Next, we got the Power Tube Plus, it's a 23,000 litre trailer, and 
Yeah, this is actually a big train. It's got a ballpoint hitch. I think this will work with a lot of normal sized tractors, so hopefully that should work out fine. Next, we've got a bader. It's only a small one, just a little baby bell. So this costs us nine, eight, nine grand or something. A bit worn than that. Next, we got a fertilizer spreader. We got the Amazon ZATS 3200s. And lastly, we've got a mower, so we've got a decent setup. But now, the elephant in the room tractors. Ideally, I want something with a front loader. Well, I'll just say, if looking at some of these tractors here for 60 grand, so. It does not leave us with much options. Um, Zeter, uh, 76 horsepower. 70 grand? Oh, nope, that ain't gonna happen. Massey Ferguson. Yeah, we can go with something like this. Nice little setup here. Actually, I do like the look of that. Only 100 horsepower, so. Nope. Doesn't really power the rock picker. No, I can't afford any of these. Could get the Fiat. Ah, uh, no, that doesn't have a front loader. Of course, that would be a good option. What about medium tractors? Is there anything in our price range here? Got some John Deere's, 100 grand. If they come up used, you know, this would be a good option for us. Go with the Deutz Far, 45 grand. Actually, what, let's look at the use of your ship. Oh, hoo, 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 wait a minute. As much as I love to get an AR, there is a John Deere 7810 for sale. 46% off, 22 months old, so yeah, it's been fairly used, but for 53 grand. And we can get a front loader as well on this. Um, tires. How much shall I leave us? Which I'm not too worried about big tires. Yeah, what? Let's get our first tractor, folks. So, it's a nice little older style tractor as well, the little John Deere here. I actually like that very much. Yeah, I am liking this. Actually, what's the horsepower of the engine? Actually, I didn't check. Was it 175, I think it was? Yeah, 175, so that is... Actually, to be honest, this is better than a normal sort of tractor. This, we can use this for a long way, so... Now, that leaves us with 6 grand. Is there any cedars or planters out there for 6 grand? Um, I do not think so. 15 grand. No, it's added a bit. Oh, cedar. 13 grand, 16 grand. No, not really. So, it looks like we're going to start doing grass inside and all that. Because I'm thinking we could get a bunker side. Because how much a bunker side would cost us? There's a really old one that we can't... Oh, I really want to get... I want to get the medium or large one. Actually, you know what? I am not what I'm going to do. We go to front loaders. How much are these? Nine, ten grand. That's what we want. We want that one. That's going to cost us ten grand to buy. Oof. Not even the, we can't even afford the cheapest one, so we might as well go with this one when we can. So we need to sell some more logs. But now we've got we've got a trailer, but I don't think that's going to be good for wood. So we'll do a bit more chopping away. There we go. So I think, yeah, we'll get this. Um, you know what? I'll spend an extra 200. 200 euros on a little thing there. So yeah, we, yeah, it's good and it's not so good in ways, but I, f I really think this would be a starting of many great things for us. So 
shopping, we'll just take the trader, take the John Deere, get the zoo up with some logs, off, and then we'll go sell some logs. Because we've got five grand from that pickup load. Just imagine how much we can get with a full load of this here. I am liking this very much, so let's head back to the farm and let's get some work done. Let's go and get that 10 plus grand. Well, need 10 grand for the front loader. You'll need many, many things. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll just look at volume of some of these buckets here. 15 grand, not going for that. If we get like a size fork or what, something like this. 1250 compared to a thousand. I should not might as well stick with a thousand, so that's gonna be eleven six we'll need. Plus a log. That's gonna be fourteen six. Um what else do we need? Wait. Something around the one point five ton mark, so yeah, we're looking at two grand, so that's sixteen six. Plus the bigger bunker slider, that's going to be 25 grand we're going to need, so... I'm thinking if we could do two or three big loads, then perhaps... We could be on money here. So I think, yeah, I think what we're going to do is sludge, first of all. Um, as much as I'd love to do a cereal crop, I'd like to experiment with soybeans. So apparently I've heard they are a very good way to make money. But, yeah, so... That's going to be a lot of caveats to that. And then we need another 30 grand for a cedar or something, so... It may be the case where we don't actually seed until next year, even. Until year two. If that's the case, then that's fine. But anyways, let's head back to the farm. And let's go and get some work done. So... Right, so we've opened actually quite a lot of this up, and I ain't gonna go much further than this. I'm gonna cut these trees here up to the shed because I'm thinking if we place a bunker slow here next to the shed, then, then perhaps do that. Out. Yes, there's a bit of grass here that we could utilize potentially, but also, uh, actually, I just think of something cut the grass to make silage. We're gonna have to pick the grass up. Yes, we've got a bather, but. Yeah, we could do with a wrapper. That uh, only does. Well, we've got a square beater and. Ooh, 54 grand. How much is going to be a forge wagon? 30 grand? Is there anything cheaper? Please. Hmm, that's. That's a bit of a backfire on that. But even to be honest, I'm willing to go around the entire field because we've got all this grass here, like up to this tree line up here. This is all ours, and I'm willing to mow all this, get a little front loader with 1000 capacity, and pick every single last litre of grass up. It's going to be a lot of work, but I'm prepared to do the work. I think it's a shame that we didn't get the front loader now because we can carry bigger logs. I love that sound. And yeah, potentially we can get even more money to do longer logs, but it is what it is. There we go, we use that to measure up. Cut a bit further down. And there we go. Oop. So, yep. We're going to get cracking on with this, and I'll see you folks in a second here.
Alright, you folks, so we've done our first load. You got just over 10 grand from that, and what we've done is we've got a front loader and a log fork. We didn't get the biggest quickie front loader that we could get, but I've got the one that was in, within our budget for the log fork that cost us 3 grand. Also, I'll use the rule that we have in place that uh, one item can be leased per day. And for that, we've leased this to Sawyer 2400, 2.4 ton weight. And we've got a lot of big chunky logs on here. We've got like two or three or 3.9 trees on here and about two or three of the 1.6 ton trees. So that is a lot of tonnage on the back. And what this does do, it does lift the front wheels on the trailer it does sometimes. So what we may see, it will start dancing around like that right on cue. No, 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 do not tip. Do not tip. <laughs> Before it was fine when we had a pickup zone worth tipping because we can just use the teleander at shop. Yes, it costs 500 euros, but at least that was recoverable, but it's... Oh, it's like, it's like dancing. It's like dancing way to the bank. No, we're going to make a lot of money from this. <laughs> yeah. See, so yeah, we've got 10 grand from the first load. We should get, I don't know, maybe 15 grand, 12, 15 grand from this second load. Because there's more trees, longer branches as well. I know the, the ideal tree then, perhaps what they want is like 6 to 8 meters. Or actually, I think it's like 7 or 8 meters actually. Oh, this is going to be a long haul to shop. Just get you sell down. And it's because of all that weight at the back, because I did get a bit carried away doing some bigger logs than I should do. But it sort of works. So it'll take a long way to get there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's made my day. Second, second best thing to happen. The first one, of course, getting the tractor in the first place. And that is certainly made my day as well. As I'm 9 o'clock here, still got the rest of the day to go. But, anywho, let's get to the shop and let's get it sold. Because, yeah, it's absolutely hilarious. So, there we are, approaching the shop, and two hours after that, she quite settled right actually, she wasn't too hoppy, slowed it down and then was able to pull out 26 miles an hour. No issues whatsoever. So let's go and get this sold. Oh, now it does it again. Come on, be yeah, for at the shop now. Stop dancing. Oh, just get used to gently, gently forwards. That's it, so that's time we've got 10 grand. I'm thinking we'll get about 15 grand or so from this. Find the right point. 16.5, so actually, yeah, 15, 16 grand. That ain't too shabby. And on that note, I think we can leave it there for today. So next time around, we will get all this back to the farm and actually get some farming done, I think, get some mowing done. Get a bit of baiting done. Perhaps in hindsight, I should not have gotten this for eight or nine grand, whatever it was, and use that money for get a bell wrapper. But yeah, the bell wrappers and that will be your wrappers. Shall I say are pretty expensive. Um, yeah, seventy-eight grand to start off with. So yeah, seventy-eight ninety-nine grand. So yeah, well. We can worry about that another time, but yeah, so that's going to be for me today, and yeah, I think next time also perhaps we can get some rock picking on because we can utilize that Zoom Crush Line production facility, get a bit of money from that. But for now, folks, for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.